Hello and welcome. My name is Lexi Jong and here I like to talk about luxury beauty. Today we're taking a look at the Merit lipsticks. Now I have actually reviewed these already, but I picked up more shades. So I figure we'll do a little swatch party. We'll just do a few quick thoughts on this. Let's go ahead and do some lip swatches while I give you some details on this. And then we'll go ahead and do some arm swatches and some comparisons. So Right now, online Merit has this deal where you can create your own gift set using four of the lipsticks. So you pick any four shades you want and it's $75 with the code spring lip. I'm not sure how long this promotion is going to last. I am thinking that it's probably going to go until the end of April, but I'm not positive. So I had originally gotten two of these in PR and then the other four I purchased myself. I really like this formula. So this formula is a sheer satin finish color. It's lightweight, it's buildable, it feels hydrating on the lips. It's very comfortable to wear. And you know, it's a clean beauty lipstick, but a lot of clean beauty lipsticks to me feel like they have a thicker formulation or they have a very thin waxy formula. And I feel like this is not like either of those. It also doesn't have that really strong scent, you know, more of that like clay earthiness scent that you get in a lot of more natural lipsticks. So I really like it. <laughs> So looking at the ingredients of these lipsticks, they do contain aroma or fragrance. And if you look at the Mara website, that is supposedly raspberry oil, which they added for moisture as well as a light natural scent to it. I don't know if there are additional components to the fragrance, but I have to say it's not something heavily scented. I actually have to put my nose up to the bullet to really smell anything. And it's very, very light and subtle. So I can smell a note of raspberry, but uh, you, you know, it's not a heavily fragranced lipstick. So I think that's really nice. Now, as I mentioned, these are very lightweight on the lips. They're very buildable with the color and you can tell that with all of the shades, but particularly with some of the deeper ones like Lavenue, you can see how you can put it on very sheerly and you can put this on sheerly, like dab it on like a stain. You can blur it out to have that soft blurred look or you can really build this up and get a much deeper color. So in this video today, I'm actually wearing Lavenue Built Up, so you can kind of see that. And it's just, it's such a gorgeous formula. So from Merit, they actually recommend either putting this on, on its own or even adding their Shade Slicks, which are their lip oils on top for a glossy finish. Now, ingredient wise, we have plant-derived squalane and sunflower seed oil. They provide long lasting moisture for a comfortable light as air finish. That's directly from the Merit website. We also have Papain Enzyme, which helps soothe lips. That's kind of like an exfoliating type of ingredient typically. And they also have stabilized vitamin C in here to help diffuse the appearance of fine lines. Now the packaging on these is made out of 30% recycled plastic. And you have this beautiful, like kind of amber colored uh, plastic or lucite type of material for the cap. And then you have a gold bullet tube. I think it's really a very nice look. And I like having the square container because it doesn't roll. For size reference, this does fit into my clear plastic holders. Whereas the Tom Ford lipsticks, don't really fit in. They're a little bit too big. So it's slightly smaller than the Tom Ford. As for product details, these are made in Italy. They have a one year shelf life and there's three grams of product inside each. Let's go ahead and do some arm swatches. All right. So you can see we've got the Merit logo on there and then also Merit on one side of the container. The name is going to be on the Amber Lucite Plastic and you can see that this fits in securely, but it is a click closure, so uh, it's not magnetic. And this here is the product, and this one is slip, so you can see what it looks like. I think it's really beautiful. This one is described as a warm neutral. So let's do one sheer layer, and then we'll build it up a bit underneath. 
So you can see that it is definitely a warm nude shade, but there is still a touch of pink in there. It's not like super yellow or anything, which can sometimes be the problem with some of the warm neutral shades on me. So, so it's more so that this is nude with a touch of kind of like a rosy or peach shade in there. It's not, it's definitely not going to be like a cool tone pink or anything, but it's also not going to be as warm as something more yellow based. So I think it's a really great neutral and they did a great job of kind of keeping that in the middle of the spectrum. Next up, we have Millennial, which is described as a classic pink. And you can see this is really more of that medium rose pink shade. And again, this one's not going to be overly warm or overly cool. Uh, you know, in general, it's still technically a cool shade, um, but just slightly. It's going to be pretty much a classic rose pink. Next up is Baby, which is described as a neutral pink. And... To me, you know, this is a great My Lips But Better shade for me. This is a pinky nude, but it has touches of mauve in here. So this is definitely going to be cooler in tone because it does have a little bit of those like purpley undertones in there. Um, but I think it's absolutely stunning and it's my favorite shade. Next up, we have Lavenue. This one's described as a berry brown and... You can see how sheer this one can be or how much it builds up. Now, one thing I have noticed with this shade and only this shade, I've checked my others, but look, when I go to kind of reapply, you can see it can be a little bit patchy. It's almost as though this one is so buildable that it the product can kind of slide around. You can see some of the sheer layers underneath. So that's just something to note with Lavenue. I think it's a really beautiful shade and I would say it's, kind of like um, a brick brown shade with touches of berry. So I think a berry brown is a very apt description for this one. And you can see that it's it leans cooler. Next up we have Fashion, which is described as a soft berry. And you can see you've got some purpley tones in here, but really it's gonna be like a more vibrant pinky plum shade. This is gonna be cool in tone and it's really a really beautiful berry shade. And last up, we have 1990. So there are two other shades that I do not have. The other shades are Cabo, which is a soft red orange, and Tiger, which is a brick red. Now, this one here is described as a deep brown. This is 1990. And it really surprised me because I don't consider this a deep brown. This is really more of a soft brown, and this is a pretty neutral brown. I mean, you can build this up to be a, like the color of kind of like, like a light milk chocolate, like a Swiss milk chocolate, essentially. Um, but you can see here that, you know, it's really much lighter than it, it was much lighter than I was expecting after the pictures online. So formula wise, I have to say this is a really great formula. I think it definitely kind of holds its own against some of the more luxury lipsticks that I enjoy. It's definitely one that I really like, would definitely recommend, especially if you're looking in particular for clean beauty lipsticks. I think this is my favorite clean beauty formula for lipsticks now. I mean, La Bouche Rouge, I love those as well, but I think I actually prefer the Merit ones. So let's do a few comparisons. We're gonna start off with some Tom Ford satin lipsticks. This one is my favorite. This is Sugar Glider. Okay, so you can see the Sugar Glider and Baby. You know, Baby is going to be more nude, more neutral. Um, it's a little bit warmer than Sugar Glider. Sugar Glider has more purple, but you can definitely tell that they're kind of in the same family. This one here is Paper Doll. This one's going to be a, a bit lighter, but just wanted to show you how that pink compares because this is definitely going to be a much cooler pink than Millennial here. Millennial is going to be warmer, even though technically it's still like a classic pink that leans a little cool. This one here is Blazing Kiss and it's going to be much more red than any of these berry shades, the Lavenue or Fashion. 
Let's take a look at sable smoke and compare that with slip. And you can see that sable smoke is gonna be much warmer. This has more of that peachy yellow tone in here than slip does. And that's kind of what I was talking about here. You can see this one actually where it fades out, you can see a touch of like those yellow tones, whereas slip is really much more neutral. Here's bad lieutenant. Let's put that one right here. Let's build that up a little. That's going to be closest to millennial, but you can see millennial is going to be deeper. It's also going to be a little bit more pink. This definitely has more rose in it. This is a Dries Van Noten Sheer Lipstick in 03. And this is gonna be a sheer, kind of like a nude brown, but you can see this one's got more pink in it than the slip shade does. This is La Bouche Rouge in nude pink. I'm gonna put this right here. So you can see this one kind of is similar to Millennial. This one, nude pink, is actually gonna be a little bit warmer in tone just a touch they're very very close this one just has like a little bit more red in it versus pink like a warmer red uh formula wise this is going to be you know they both feel very similarly going on with that one thin layer this is a very sheer thin formula um it's a little bit waxier though and i feel like the merit actually builds up a bit better than the la bouche rouge which kind of always stays thin because it has it seems to have like a higher wax content whereas the merit seems to have a higher oil content so it can kind of build and mix a little bit uh, a little bit more than this this one here is La Bouche Rouge in Rosewood. Let's put this one right up here. This one's gonna be peachier. Yeah, that's definitely peachier than everything else here. But if you had to go with something and be closest to one sheer layer of Millennial. Here's a Guerlain Kiss Kiss Shine Bloom in 129. This is Blossom Kiss. This is one of my most used shades. And this is going to be a little bit more pink than Millennial. This one here is Kiss to Say. Let's put that one here. Mm, it's more red. This is 119 Floral Nude. Let's put this up here. Yeah, that's gonna be more pink also. This is one of the Dior Attic Lipsticks in 527 Atelier. And let's put this one, we're gonna squeeze that in right here. It's more pink, but it's gonna be close to baby. It's kind of a mix of baby and millennial. 418 Beige Oblique. Let's put that one right here. And that's gonna be closest to slip, but again, this one's gonna be cooler, has a touch more pink in it, uh, whereas slip really stays right in that middle lane. And this one is Mallow Rose. Mm, here, let's bring that closer so you can see how that goes. Yeah, that's going to be a little bit more pink as well, cooler in tone. This one here is number 526. This is one of the Chanel La Comet lipsticks in 108, Terre de Toile. Now, this is a different finish because this is a velvet. Mm -hmm. I was thinking that might go. No, it's kind of a mix of Lavenue and 1990. And this is another La Comet 178 Brun Celeste, which I think is just such a gorgeous shade. But again, this is gonna be, you know, sheer that can be built up. And just like Lavenue, this one can get a little bit patchy, but you can see that this is gonna be much cooler in tone than 1990 or Lavenue. All right, so that's gonna be it for my comparisons. And I have to say, I just really like this formula. I think if I had to pick a lipstick formula that it feels the most similar to on my lips, it would be most similar to the Tom Ford Satin formula on the lips. But I have to say, I prefer the lack of fragrance in the Merit. Again, it has a little bit of that like raspberry note, but it's very subtle. You don't really notice it compared to the Tom Ford fragrance. And I think texturally, the Tom Ford feels a little bit creamier whereas these have a little bit more like a of that vinyl substance that kind of feels like it 
grips your lip a little bit more versus like a a more emollient cream. So I think those are going to be the differences. But again, I think they're probably the closest in formulation on my lips, like how it actually feels compared to any of the other brands. So uh, yeah, I have to say these are definitely a winner. I'm really enthusiastic about the Merit lipsticks. And yeah, so again, two of these shades were given to me in PR. So thank you, Merit, for sending those to me. And I didn't have any, you know, requirements or anything like that with those lipsticks, but I ended up really falling in love with them. So I took advantage of their offer on the website right now. Spring Lip is a code, all is one word. And you can pick four shades of your choice for $75. So definitely a great opportunity to pick some of these up. And I'm really happy with the shades I picked up. I want the last two now. So thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a great day and stay safe and healthy.